2009-2010 Virginia House of Delegates Art Contest, state symbols and emblems represent the cultural heritage and natural resources of each state. Oftentimes, they reflect the native species of flora and fauna, history and industry. Virginia has a state flag, state seal, state bird, state flower, state dance, and many other symbols and emblems that have been officially adopted by legislative action of the General Assembly over the years. The Virginia House of Delegates Art Contest is open to public, private, and homeschool students ages 4 to 12. The goal is to provide students with an opportunity to be creative, explore new ideas, and share their interpretation of a topic that is related to Virginia's rich heritage. Students across Virginia created pictures that illustrate a significant item that should be added as a symbol of Virginia and recognized for its importance to our Commonwealth. Mr. Speaker, over 150 ent entries were received, and the three winning ent entries represent the contest age groups that are here today. Ms. Mr. Speaker, members of the House, I'm going to be the first delegate to congratulate one of my constituents who was the winner, one of the winners of this contest that the clerk just uh, described. And I wanted to present to you Maya Ken. And Maya is from Lorton. It's a neighborhood that didn't exist up until about two years ago when we closed Lorton Prison. And houses to be built there, but also what's interesting in that area is that Lorton Prison, part of it was turned into a art center. And Maya uh, is now so good that she's taking lessons over there. But what Maya's uh, picture, if you could hold that up. And this may introduce you to Maya's family also, here with her. She chose as her symbol the uh, Slady Skimmer Dragonfly. And Maya goes to Laurel Ridge Elementary School, and her teacher is Kate Parsons. And what the Slady Skimmer is, and I have to read this because I did not know this. So you're teaching me something today, huh? The slady skimmer is part of a large and common group of dragonflies. Skimmers get their names from behavior of females, which skim across the water's surface. These are large, showy dragonflies with long wings that are often brightly colored. Most skimmer species live around the slow-moving water, such as ponds and wetland pools. And I would like to ask the members of the House to congratulate Maya. And Maya, you make our neighborhood very proud. We are so happy that you are part of uh, Lorton with us. Thank you very much. And I almost forgot, there's a certificate for you also is part of your award. Thank you very much. The, the gentleman, the gentleman from Lynchburg, Mr. Garrett. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, uh, I too am humbled and proud to be with you today to honor Eliza Mitchell again for her success in the House of Delegates art competition. Eliza is joined in her chamber today by her parents, Rachel and Jake Mitchell, as well as her sisters and grandparents. Eliza is a student at R.S. Payne Elementary School in Lynchburg, and as mentioned, the winner of the seven to nine age uh, group this year. For those of you that may not have seen her entry, Eliza chose to draw the James River as a representation of the cultural heritage and natural resources in the Commonwealth. As you all know, the James River has been and continues to be a vital component of commercial and recreational interests for our Commonwealth. I hope it will be the pleasure of the House to join with me in congratulating Eliza Mitchell once again on this great accomplishment. Gentleman from Botetourt, Mr. Cleveland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the House, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you the five-year-old who won the last category in the House of Delegates Art Contest. His name is Jude Meadows. And Jude is here from Grandin Court Elementary School. His teacher is Susan Light. And he is here with his parents, Heidi and Scott, and Genevieve, Colin, and Rory, his, his um, siblings, Sandy and Randy Meadows, grandparents, and Richard and Sue Pinto, Carla and Shannon Pinto, and Anthony and Madis Madison Pinto, his cousins. Now, what he has just done is, is with the many symbols of, that we have in this commonwealth, one of the things that Jude wanted to do 
was honor all the ships that had a part in the development of the Commonwealth, and we want to applaud him for such a wonderful, wonderful symbol. Thank you, Jude. Now, likewise, I want to present you with this commendation in honor of the House of Delegates from the Commonwealth of Virginia, offering to you, Jude Meadows, a presentation for your, for your piece of work. Thank you very much. <laughs> We are honored to have uh, these three young and very talented artists come to the Capitol today, and we're very proud of that very successful program.